Hello guys, welcome back to Blueprint and a new exclusive base this time for Town Hall 15. I'm Jet from Spain and I'm builder for ET Esports, previously MS Esports. Today we are bringing you a trophy hybrid box style base. I will guide you through my thinking process and then we will see some replays of the base in action. The base is designed to protect resources and make the enemy struggle easily. We have two rage towers set up in this base. One by Town Hall compartment covering two expos, two multis and the town hall building and another one on the right side of the base covering eagle artillery, another multi, two more grand expos and the most important building I would say for town hall 15, the monolith. It's important to know the placement of teslas. Teslas inside of rage towers they do a lot of more damage. They are really annoying for queen charges, heroes or large troops. I placed the sweepers next to the eagle artillery pointing the right side of the base. It's the side where people will drop flames with Lalo or even will air spam on it. The air defenses are very important as the sweepers are. So here we have two air defenses outside of the walls. This is for the lavas to counter the lavas easily and make the Lalo very hard. I would like to highlight about this base the multiple dead zones they are on many sides of the layout. This is for the pathing of wall breakers, to make the wall breakers not break into the walls and make queen charges very hard. Maybe the issue we find on this base is one jump opens the whole base. If you jump on eagle artillery, you have access to all town hall compartment and all scatter scums. But this is a high bait that I made on this base with the rage towers and teslas next to them. This is, I think, a really good bait for ground spam entries, queen charge entries, etc. And another important thing, if you're using this base only for trophy pushing and you don't want to protect storages, you can move them out outside of the base and put them by town hall compartment in front of them, like where are cannons and archer towers, and move into the scattered compartments. Uh, uh, cannons, archer towers, uh, wizard towers and whatever you want. A little reminder is if you move uh, defenses next to the mortar make sure they are two tiles away from the mortar to avoid the flame flinger uh, splash damage. A little reminder if you move uh, defenses next to a mortar for example a mortar in a scattered compartment make sure they are two tiles away from the mortar because uh, if the flame flinger splash damage they are not uh, two tiles away from the key defense that in this case is the mortar uh, there's a lot of flame flinger value on that side personally I would not recommend to change traps on the base but if you want to you can move the teslas by town hall compartment and take one from the monolith side and put them uh, uh, for example in a scattered compartment to make a king entry harder. Also if you move the teslas on one scatter comp uh, you can use them as a backend for a ground spam entry. Personally I don't like at all because if the attacker chooses the side where the teslas are the backend will be very easy for the troops. So that's all from me. You can enjoy the last part of the build with some music and stay until the end to see the base in action. We will see three replays with huge defenses in Legend League I use it this season. Thanks for watching, see you guys in the next one and don't forget to use code BLUE.
Jesus.